Okay, when you cheer for that, you only embarrass yourself, all right? That was asinine. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome to our version of a talk show. We have a, uh... no, we got a good one tonight, right? Okay. <laughs> you don't know. I was asking my producer and this girl up there, it's like, woo! It's good, I went in the future inside. <laughs> we, you know, we have an excellent show tonight. Excellent show. Much to talk about, of course. Everybody here following the war. I know I am. I'm watching, like, everything that's happening. We're wishing that things go well. And uh, this is the uh, latest little tidbit of news. According to Weight Watchers, I'm going somewhere with this. <laughs> People are like, that's not war-related. <laughs> And the woo girls, ah, I'm not going to woo that. Uh, <laughs> now, according to Weight Watchers, the war is causing people to gain weight because they're eating more comfort food. People are eating more. That's true, yeah, yeah. Yeah, after, and after hearing this, Anna Nicole Smith said, that's true, I've been overeating since Vietnam. <laughs> that's true. And then she finds a turkey like, eh, oh. <laughs> Now, you hear this? Critics of the media are saying that cable news anchors are hyping the war too much and they're behaving like game show hosts. That's what they're saying, yeah. In fact, today, Wolf Blitzer asked Donald Rumsfeld to give his war update in the form of a question. <laughs> no. Is that the one I said wouldn't work? It is. <laughs> oh, wait, it's not. Oh, the one I said wouldn't work's coming up. Uh, wait, shouldn't have said that. Producers on Broadway say that because of the war, Broadway shows are suffering from weak ticket sales. That's right, yeah. Yeah, not only that, over at Les Miserables, the French are refusing to take part in the revolution. <laughs> See? <laughs> Everyone hates the French. Those close to him, this is interesting, those close to him say that President Bush has not altered his personal schedule very much since the start of the war. Hasn't changed much of anything. In fact, staffers say the only difference is that now he watches the news and tapes SpongeBob. So that's the main difference. And that way you can... And then I gotta mention this before we get going. This sounds like I made it up, did not. True story, the other day, the other day in Michigan, a 15-year-old boy, 15, tried to hire a hooker to service him in his hospital room. True story, 15. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, when asked about it, the boy replied, what can I say? I have a really good HMO. <laughs> That impression gets better all the time. <laughs> all right, let's talk about tonight's show. Fantastic show. From, uh, there goes that wooing again. From Everybody Loves Raymond, very funny program, the lovely Patricia Heaton is on the show. <laughs> Patricia Heaton's here. Lovely, talented. We also have, for my money, uh, one of the funnier people out there. Uh, he's on The King of Queens. He's an actor, very funny comedian. Patton Oswalt's on the show. He's a good man. Great musical guest tonight, Finch. <laughs> Finch is here, and then right over here, Jimmy Molino and the Max Weinberg. Seven, Jimmy, go! I 
haven't had, I have not heard that song in such a long time. Uh, you don't hear that song anywhere. It's, Peter Gabriel, uh, right? It's, yeah, it's probably about 15 years old, actually. Yeah, yeah, right I haven't now. heard that song. Show me around your fruitcake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, hold it, hold it. I think it went like this. Show me around your fruitcake, and I will be your honeybee. That's how it went. That just it's entered him. my mind. It could have been him. What does that even mean? It doesn't matter. It sounds good. It sounds good, yeah. Well, it's always nice to hear a blast from the 80s coming over there. Sure. Let's bring it up to date next time, okay? Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to have to come as over there, okay? we've gotten in a long time. <laughs> yeah. Come on, something new, okay? A little Jay-Z. <laughs> See? I know what's going on with the kids. I really don't. Please call me and tell me what's going on with the kids. All right, well, folks, we have so much to do.